Promised and delivered, that symbolizes the handover of CNG bosses to representatives of Labour and Students' Union. Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, reiterates government's commitment to ensure the availability of CNG bosses to not only Nigerian workers but to other members of the public. Beyond implementing the policy on transition from fossil fuel to cleaner energy, bringing down cost of transportation and enhancing energy competitiveness are other benefits the minister cited. Over $175 million of worth of investment has gone into this sector already. We expect to see more of that. Nigerians are expect to go in. More and more the Nigerians, technicians especially, are being trained. So it's a whole gamut of arrangement that will benefit all spheres of, uh, you know, all sectors of, the, of this country. All Nigerians will be felt. This is beginning from those who need the most, the working class. The working class are going to get this. But beyond that, other Nigerians are also going to be the market people. Everyone, artisans, everybody will now feel this impact. The promise he made is to intervene on the side of the poor and the most vulnerable in the aftermath of what we all knew were necessary macroeconomic reforms to set the country on the path of economic stability that would allow investment. Mr. President is leading us to do what is sensible. What you are blessed with, what is cheaper, use it. Any mechanical device, motor, uh, generator, irrigation facility that uses petrol can run on CNG. So this is a sensible transition that is led by Mr. President. We have talked about it for a decade, but Mr. President is saying, let's do it. Representatives of the union express satisfaction over various endeavors by government to cushion the plight of Nigerians occasioned by global economic challenges. This step forward brings us closer to a future where both workers and the planet benefit from such forward-thinking policies which is commendable. As a representative of over 40 million Nigerian students, today we are happy that uh, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria have kept to his promise. I want to believe that it's just the takeoff that clearly will get more buses. This is the first in series of such initiatives lined up by government towards the implementation of the policy. In Abuja, Deborah Balagubo, NTNU.